Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey G97 and welcome to the video. Um, if this is your first time watching this video, um, what I usually do is I usually get cars that are pretty competitive and tune them out, upgrade them, and use them for Tokyo Expressway. Um, I've also done some races in the mall and Sedina, uh, but mainly I just do Tokyo. And that's usually my place to grind. Um, second is Sedina, and then Lamar is third on my list uh, from grinding. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys the setup I'll be using. The Porsche Correa uh, 993 from 1995. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys my build and explain um, how to get this car, not to mix in with the other car. So here we are at the garage. This is of course all the cars that I own. So we'll be doing a today's episode will be doing this car. Um, the only difference is this car takes the rough engine swap. This car over here does not. Uh, the 911 Korea RSCS. So it does not take the engine mod. I was kind of confused. I looked at the GT Auto website just to make sure. And it's definitely this one right here. Um, so I think you can find it at the used car dealership. Uh, right now, it's not available at the time of this recording. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the next step of the setup. Alright, guys, I'm now here at the car maintenance and service uh, menu. Uh, I went ahead and installed the engine yesterday uh, with the car uh, using the rough. Uh, engine mod. If you guys are curious on the price, if you want to, don't have the ticket, and if you want to know what the price is, it's 550,000 credits. So it's a little bit on the expensive side, but the next thing I'm going to do now is go ahead and add wide body to the car. Uh, doing this, as you can see, it does not affect the performance points. Um, if we do this, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do this, and then I'll show you guys. Uh, delivery that I'll be using for the race. So now I show you guys the delivery that I'll be using for this race. Uh, if you guys want to check out my profile, this is it right up here. Uh, it's basically my PlayStation Network profile, except to add the YT to the end. Uh, that's my gamer uh, profile for Grand Turismo 7. So I got a new newsfeed, and it's right here. Uh, pretty close to what I have for my uh, other 911-993 Korea uh, for the RS version. Uh, it's the PlayStation 1998 paint job that they use in the mall. It does a really neat, gorgeous paint job. Um, so I'll be showing you guys the parts uh, what I did to my own setup to try to help out with the performance system in our next clip. Alright, now here we are at the car customization at GC Auto. Just to show you guys the parts, I'm going to show you the rims. They're BBS LMs. Uh, offset to wide, everything else stays the way it is. Uh, for the custom parts, the front bumper is type A, the side is A. The rear, it came type A with the livery, but to help lower the performance points, I got standard. And for the wing, I have it type B. Uh, if you do switch it to type A, uh, it'll look like this, and it won't really affect the performance points. So I recommend B because, well, it looks better. So now, I'm going to show you guys the setup. Alright, before I show you guys the setup, uh, if you do guys have the engine ticket and it says CTR38-CTR3, uh, this is the engine model from the rough car. If you guys have the ticket that says this exact description, uh, you will not need to spend 550,000 credits just to save you guys that extra uh, credits. Um, so if you do have the ticket, you can use that ticket to get the engine and if you're not level 50 uh, this will also help you not only get free credits but this will also help you get you a nice free engine for the car 
Uh, anyway, for the set that I'll be using for this episode, my tire choice is going to be sports hard. As uh, suspension is going to be normal. Uh, differential is normal as well. Uh, the front downforce is going to be zero for the front, 166 for the rear. I uh, do need the full control computer uh, for the ECU, and I got it set to 80. Uh, power restrictor, you need that as well. I got that set to 92. Fully customized manual transmission, I have it set to 320. Uh, low RPM turbocharger, just to add extra torque uh, for the car. Your next upgrade would be the sports muffler that comes with the engine sports muffler, or basically the basic muffler. And then for brakes, I have it racing brake system with racing brake pads. And for the last part, the only thing you need to add is weight reduction stage 1 and increased body rigidity. Uh, one thing about this setup is when you do the in engine swap, uh, your performance will be up to 620 and 620 performance points and that's without any upgrades or without any uh, adding the front splitter, the wing, and the rear bumper. Uh, so for parts you don't really even need that much stuff to it. Um, you just might even just need the brakes and you might be just good to go with that. Um, but that's basically going to be for the stuff that I'll be using for the race. Uh, if you can, you can just copy it, set up, or if you guys want to do your own little uh, customization and not add as many parts or do a little tweaking with the parts, uh, you can. So that's going to be the, the setup I'll be using today. Alright, show you guys now the car real quick, how quick it is. Um, as of right now, the car has really good acceleration as we're making our way through the field, quickly reaching the P10 and still making our way through the field. Um, just by the looks of it, it has really good top speed. Um, and with these bracing brakes, it should be able to brake pretty easily. Um, let's see how it's going to do this first turn. Feels really smooth with the first turn. Uh, so this looks promising. I'll give you guys a further update in a little bit. Okay, gives you an update. We just now took the lead from the Honda NSX. Car feels really smooth. Feels really good to drive. Uh, of course, we have this racing brake, so it'll be making good use of those to brake a little bit later than usual. Uh, the car's handling overall is very smooth. I don't have any signs of it really being really loose. I think the weight ratio is 60-40. Uh, 60 for the front, 40 for the rear. I could be wrong and have it mixed up, uh, switched. But I do know the weight ratio is 60-40. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a quick lap guide uh, with this car. And then later in the race, I'll show you guys a hot lap uh, with this car as well. Uh, so mainly for the C district, I'm going to be using fourth gear uh, through these turns. I can tell by the, using the low RPM turbo charger that it really does help out the acceleration for the car. Um, Porsches are really known for having really good acceleration uh, throughout their whole uh, history, so it's no surprise to see the car really reacting and being able to quickly regain its speed uh, using the low RPM turbo charger. Um, so I'll be curious to see to find out how fast the car, how fast the lap times is going to be. Hopefully it'll be around the 206, 207 range. I mean I might be asking a lot but I just don't know yet. Uh, I won't know until the track dries up a little bit more and we burn a little bit more fuel. Uh, but so far it's been a good start with the car. So I'll just give you guys another update later. Alright, give you guys a quick update. Uh, looks like we're running a little short on fuel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the fuel map to level 4 and hopefully that will bring us just enough fuel to make it. That way we'll hit level 8. Uh, but car feels very smooth overall. Um, as you can see that our average lap time has been 208, uh, we just now switched to 209, so I'm expecting to run just a little bit slower uh, since we moved the fuel map to level 4. Um, 
But just to give you guys a quick lap guide uh, using this car before we pit. Uh, first turn, you're going to be in third gear. Uh, these first two turns. Uh, the car will drive a little bit slower since we got the fuel map up to four and that down to level one. Uh, the one thing I did notice with this car is uh, to have the extra speed from the car. Uh, when you're switching gears, make sure the rail limiter is about 80% filled up. You don't have to ride out the whole entire uh, rim limiter. Uh, it seems like a, the car drive is better and adds more speed whenever you shift a little bit earlier since it's a low RPM turbocharger package. Other than that, uh, most, about all these turns you'll be in fourth gear. Uh, you'll be playing the car roll naturally through the corners, which is just to let gravity take control of the car. As we're going to try to see if we can make it to the pits without coasting. Uh, looks like we might be a little bit short, so we probably would coast just a little bit. It's just a gamble worth taking. Uh, other than that, the car feels really smooth. Uh, this double right hand turn, you know, break. Uh, be at the second gear. It's just a little bit early to third gear. In the fourth gear, and fifth, as we're on coast for a pit stop on lap eight. Uh, don't need to change tires, uh, even though the rear tires are a little bit worn. Uh, no need to change tires, they're still in good shape overall. All I'm going to do is just add enough fuel just to get us by with the race. Uh, but yeah. Car feels very smooth. Uh, even though it's not as fast as I want it it to be, uh, the car does feel nice to drive. It feels, has plenty of control. Uh, so if you guys want a car that has really great control, this is one of any cars I really recommend trying out. And I'll give you guys another update. Well, that's where you're going about to cross the finish line. Uh, the car did very well. It was very smooth throughout the whole race. Um, as we cross the finish line, it's going to be 26 minutes and about 30 seconds. Uh, this is now the new slowest car I've now done. Uh, so the Mitsubishi Evo is no longer the slowest car. This is now the slowest car with the engine swaps. Uh, but still, uh, 26 and a half minutes, that's not really too bad. Um, I had some runs without engine swaps and that'll be 2645s. Uh, so this car. Uh, despite now being my slowest for engine swaps, uh, it did very well. Uh, so 26 half minutes, uh, press the slap 208.06. Uh, I kind of wish that the car was a little bit faster than that, but you know, that's the way it is sometimes. Uh, so, but anyway. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks again guys for showing support for the channel as we hit 300 subs uh, the other day. Uh, it's been a huge privilege and blessing to have you guys out. Uh, showing you different guys from both Tokyo and Sedina, mainly. Uh, hopefully this uh, will help you out in your Tokyo grinds if you do want to do this engine swap. Um, I do have faster setups in my playlist. Um, other than that, if you guys want to check out the latest episode using the BMW C4 GT3 at Le Mans uh, with our 300th 300 subscriber special, you can click on the video there. Uh, if you guys are curious, just check that out. Again, hope you guys have a good rest of the day, and I will see you guys later. Take care.